Hi there, it's Craig, and um, today we're going to do a little bit of a, of a beer, or let's say a brew mail update. I'll try not to do this, I'll try not to make this video too long. Um, I've got some real cool stuff here I've got from people, three people in particular. Uh, I have a beer kit, a Brewer's Best beer kit, by the way. I will be doing that. The video is in progress, it's in editing right now, uh, and the person who sent that knows who she is, and that will be coming soon. I'm going to be talking about that. Um, in the meantime, uh, what I've got right in front of me here is from Immoladius, uh, is his YouTube name. Now, two of the other things that came are from Poland. Two guys from Poland sent me stuff by coincidence at the same time. Um, so, uh, th I, I'm not sure of their YouTube personalities. Um, I'm just going to call them by their names, the, what, the way, what they told me. Uh, you've got Daniel and you've got Powell. Okay, they both sent me some stuff, so let's go over what we've got here. It's really cool. We've got two beer tastings to do as well, so I'll try not to be too long on this video, but here we are. Okay, well, first of all, Immoladius, who has a great YouTube channel, uh, you should check it out. He's got lots of brewing tips on there, presents it very well, he talks about yeast and talks about hops and things. He sent me some stuff. I got some um, test strips here for pH test strips for testing star sand. Uh, the acidity of star sand because I'm going to do an experiment with that with my tap water. Okay, so that's coming up. That's a video coming up. He sent me a bunch of yeasts and he knows that I can't get these up here very easily um, where I live. He sent some of this to a PEI home brewer as well, which is really nice of him. I've got some um, Windsor. I've got some N not uh, sorry Notting Nottingham. Okay, I've got some uh, Safale US05. Safale US04. I can order these, but they're expensive. So this way I can try them out, see what they do, and then if I want to, if I feel that they make a big difference, then I don't have a problem ordering them and paying the premium for them once I know that they're going to do what I want. Okay, so that's a Meladius's thing too. He also sent me a, uh, I feel like I'm in a baby shower or something here. He also sent me some of this. These are called heather tips. It's a herb. It looks like parsley or dried, dried, you know, something. Um, and uh, this is to put into beer to add flavor. Heather tips. Heathers are flowers, I guess. And these smell very, almost like dried parsley, really, is what I can get from them. A little bit of licorice in there. I don't know. They're very, very, di very distinct smelling herbs. And so what I did was I took some of these and I put them into a hop tea and added them to a Cooper's English Bitter, which is what he recommended I do. Now, I just did a simple English Bitter with the Cooper's, some dry malt extract, some dextrose, and a tea from this stuff. Um, I'll be doing a review on that soon. Immoladius did a more elaborate brew with his batch of uh, uh, Heather Tips. So he did the kitchen sink, okay? He did everything. So you'll be able to watch that video and my video on our respective channels. And finally, he also sent me some Almorello um, whole leaf hops, um, and they're sealed and can't smell them. Um, but I can't wait to use these. Uh, so he sent me all that stuff, and that was really great. And Immoladius helps me on um, my Justin.tv broadcast. Friday nights at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern, and he helps me along too, just with some of my brewing, because he's he's really experienced with yeast. He's got charts and, uh, you know, oh man, if you want to see some really cool uh, brewing videos, tips, you know, shorter videos that, that just tells you how to do something or what something, what yeast to use or what how, how to, he, that's his channel, and that's what he kind of does, and it's a great resource, okay? So thanks, thanks very much, uh, Imo, for that. Now, Two guys from Poland, okay? They don't know each other, as far as I know, but they both sent me some stuff. <sighs> okay, so let's get, first of all, we'll do the, the beers, okay? So, I'm trying, I'm trying to remember who's who here. Okay, Daniel, and I don't know his YouTube name, he didn't send me that, but Daniel sent me, one of the things he sent me is some of his home brew. Okay, he sent me an Oktoberfest, uh, Oktoberfest beer, and a Dortmunger beer. Can you guys, he made labels for them. Okay, these are all grain beers. 
Um, he took them out of his, I think, of his keg or out of another bottle and put them in these plastic bottles so they wouldn't break um, on the way here. And they did make it here in one piece, so that's good. Okay? So, and um, Powell, another guy from, fellow from Poland, also sent me some home some homebrew. And uh, this one's a, a uh, this is a Cooper's um, Australian Bitter. You can see the label there. He sent the labels separately so that the customs didn't know what the, it was in the bottles, which is pretty smart. And I stuck them on with milk, believe it or not. Yes, you can rub milk onto the labels and they will stick to your bottle. Look, it's not coming off. Well, there you go. He also sent me a anniversary beer from his town. There's a description in the in the down in the more info section all about this beer and about the glass that he sent, which I will be opening and using in a moment when I taste one of his beers. I'll be tasting the anniversary beer. I can't taste the Cooper's beer because it's cloudy, uh, it's bottle conditioning, and it was sideways in the box, so it has to settle. So that'll be another time. Okay. They both both. Uh, both Daniel and Powell sent me some hops as well. We'll look at those in a minute. But thank you so much, guys, for sending me this, these, these things. I'm, I'm excited to, to get brewing here. Um, but first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to taste one of the home brews. Um, and I'm going to go in alphabetical order. So, Daniel, I'm going to taste your, your uh, Dortmunder, Dortmunder beer. I have a glass back here. This is an all grain beer. He put it in a secondary, he put it in a plastic bottle. It was in another container. I don't know whether it was a keg or a glass bottle, but he uh, emptied it into here so that it wouldn't break. And so it's it's probably gonna be under carbonated um, uh, because of that. So we will expect that. That's, that's uh, we'll take that in consideration. So it's a Dort Munder. It's his own homebrew. There's the label. Okay. Kind of overexposed there, but that's Yeah, that's that's fine. This has been in my fridge for a couple weeks. Let's give this a let's give this a crack. It's tight. These guys don't want this stuff to leak. And they hulk out on it, and then it gets all sticky. Ah. There we go. It smells like a good beer. Let's give this a let's give this a go. Gentle pour here. Um maybe a more aggressive pour because of the undercarbonation. Look at how light that is. Can you guys see that? Nice light color. Gonna give it a, a bit more of an aggressive thing here. Undercarbed. Undercarbed because of the way he transferred it. And I expect that. Um I expect that because of that. So it will be undercarbonated. That's just the nature of the way he Rebottled it for me. Okay, so <sighs> nice brass, light, nice light brass color to that. All right, dying to taste it. Let's go. Oh my god! That's got such a interesting flavor. How the hell am I going to do a review on this beer? I can't even begin. Gosh, I wish I could describe this. For for one thing, it's 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 excellent. It's absolutely a great beer. And if it had its full carbonation, wow. I would love the recipe for this. Dude, this is good beer. Honest to god. That is really very interesting flavor. Very, like, it hits you. A big flavor in this beer. Mm. Tastes like it's got rum in it or something. A rye, spice rum, or something like that. That's what it's, maybe some oak. Maybe some oak. Maybe there's oak in there. I don't, I don't know. That's the best I can do. Okay. Whoops. Sorry, Mike. Okay. So that's Daniel. Thank you, Daniel. Uh, and Daniel also sent me some hops, which I'll go over in a moment. Okay. But let's get to... Uh, I've got some work to do here with beer now. Let's get to 
Powell and his beer. Now his Cooper's uh, Aust Australian bitter is not cleared yet. I have to let this sit. So we'll do this in another video. Um, so there you go with that. But he has a a uh, now I've, I'm supposed to pronounce this and it's Polish. So it's a Brachy Mastin Ma Mastiny. You guys figure it out, okay? And he sent me two different labels with this, and I didn't know which one to stick on because it's Polish. So I put I just put this one on, okay? Uh, but it is an actual a beer from a brewery in his town, from his brewery, his t hometown brewery, okay? So what we're gonna do is in the tradition of this beer, there is a glass that goes with it, okay? I have not washed this. I just take it right out of the box here, and we're going to, we're going to, we'll just blow it out. There, we're gonna pour, see, it's a matching, you get that, okay? Matching, uh, beer and glass. There's a history behind it, and the whole story is down below, so you can read that. Powell sent me these things al along with some, also some hops. So they both sent me hops. So let's taste his local home, his local brewery anniversary beer. Keep the cap. It's actually in pretty good shape, so we'll keep that. And we'll pour that beer into the glass that matches and give this a whirl. Whoa, it looks real smooth. Wow. Fantastic. Whoa. Okay. Oh man, that looks incredible. You guys can, can you, look. Wow. It's a, it's a big old carbonation nation rising up to the top what I call the upside down snowstorm this is a blizzard okay that's what this is an upside down blizzard um, look at the glass beautiful beautiful drink here wow look at the head on that it's it's staying um, and uh, it's it's not going anywhere if I, if you can I can even tip it towards you guys and it doesn't move so a beautiful color I can't get much of a nose from it because it's, look at the, how, how, the head retention on that thing. Wow. This is all the way from Poland, okay? All the way from Poland, and it made it here, and it looks like that. That's perhaps one of the cleanest beers I've ever tasted. Um, it's still doing the snowstorm thing. The 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 craftsmanship that this beer has gone through gone in has gone into this beer is absolutely incredible. Just by looking at it, you've got a good head retention, excellent lacing, and you've got the continual. And I think this is part of what head retention is is that you've got the continual anti-carbonation thing where the, the stuff's the bubbles are rising from the bottom and creating the head from underneath so as the head evaporates it keeps being created that takes an exact science in the beer recipe um, the, the beer is alive so that's what we've got there is a, a very alive beer as so aesthetically it looks absolutely incredible to me um i mean just look at the damn thing and the, the the bubbles coming up from the bottom taste wise not a huge not a huge um aroma hop profile doesn't have a citrus thing going on there um not a big bitter thing. It's just very middle of the road malt. Uh, very refreshing, very uh, actually thirst quenching beer. For the type of beer that it is, I can't think of anything that would um, 
just by looking at it, smelling it, tasting it, seeing the way it's reacting in the glass, I can't think of much else you could do. I don't recognize the hot profile at all. It's not a very prominent hot profile. It's not like an IPA, like a California IPA. It's not, it's not like that at all. As a matter of fact, this is better. Um, Poland, or, you know, where this comes from, you guys have, are very lucky to have this, this brewery where you can buy this beer. This is a frigging amazing beer. Brachy Mastna. I don't know if I can pronounce that right, so I'll show it again. Okay. And there's the bottle. I hope the guys from the brewery that made this beer are watching this video. I really do. All the way to Canada, this beer came to me. And I'm, I'm telling you, I'm moving to Poland. This is not a commercial, I swear. This is such a good beer. It just makes me sad that in my country and in, you know, well, I'm not going to say any other countries, but in my country in particular, that we can't have beers like this at our disposal like this. We have to wait until they come from Germany, Poland, England, or even the United States, or, you know, wherever. Um, we don't make beer like this here in my country. This is not available here locally. There's no alcohol ABV reading on the label at all, so I don't know what it is, but it's it's perfect. Anyway, there you go. So we've got that. Now I'm going to go back to this beer here. Now, again, we can't look at this beer and say, oh, well, that one sucks, because it was taken from another bottle into this, so we're not taking the carbonation into consideration. I'm still getting that sort of sweetness, that sort of um, kind of an oak. I'm just guessing, uh, rum thing. So this recipe needs to be posted because you guys need to make this beer. You all grainer guys need to make this and, you know, and try it. It's very, the taste is absolutely amazing. It just has an undescribable taste to it. I'm half in the bag. Holy crap. Um, okay. So both, both uh, Daniel and Powell sent me these beers. They also sent me some hops. I got these hops, and I won't, um, he put paper towel in them, uh, Daniel did, to keep them some, from rattling around too much, so that the customs people didn't think they were, it was pills. <laughs> Good idea. There's two types, I'm not even gonna try, I'm not trying to, I'm not gonna pronounce the types of hops here. I can't pronounce these. I'll put them on the screen, and you guys can try to pronounce them yourself. So I've got them, and these were in the freezer. I'm going to put them back right after this video in there, too. So that was uh, that was Daniel. Powell also sent me this, these the same. I, I And I know they came at roughly the same time, and it just means I have twice as much of the stuff to, to work with. So um, these ones are sealed. They haven't been opened yet, so I'll probably use these after I use those ones. And he also sent me some, a, a little bit of these too, just a little smaller containers of them. He's got aroma, that's an A there, and B for bittering. They're same, the same types. So all I can say is all three of you guys, Emiladius, Daniel, and Powell, and you guys can post in the, in the, uh, comment section your YouTube names if you want. You guys are very, very kind. I can't, I can't thank you enough. Uh, I've got more hops here <laughs> than I know what to do with. Um, and yeast. So we've got this Cooper's Australian Lager. They got the water turned on up there. What are you doing? <laughs> it's three o'clock in the morning. Um, I'm gonna do that soon. And we've got the uh, other uh, Daniel homebrew beer, the Oktoberfest, which I can't wait to try, but not till October. Thank you guys so much. I can't wait to use these yeasts. I can't wait to use these hops. And the beers are exceptional.
because it's so interesting. It's like a pumpkin beer or something like that. It's got that. It's got some flavor in it that I can't describe. It just tastes like it tastes like a, a beer that has a, a like a rum, a spiced rum flavor to it. It's amazing. All right. Well, I got my test strips here. I'm going to do some star set experiments. I have another homebrew uh, video coming up. It's a um, Midwest Mid Midwest homebrew supply kit that I'm going to do that Paul brought me. I've got all these hops and things to work with. Got lots of videos coming up. Thank you guys. Got a star sand video coming up to see what the heck's going on with that stuff. What are you doing? He's doing it again. That's David. That's okay. I'm not live, you know. I'm doing a video. You know that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So you're going to start ruining my videos too? Oh, well, I just didn't really appreciate the way you yelled at me, so... Well... I, I decided to take your hat. So, Scattero TV gave me this hat, and you're not taking it. You're not going to take it. <laughs> Bugger off. Okay, guys. Thank all you guys so much. Cheers, and we'll see you soon.